This is part 2 of Build the James Watt Micrometer. In part 1 I made this, where you could clearly see that making the complicated part was easy and then this uh, easy little bracket was complicated. But whatever, uh, let's continue make a few other parts. Now, this micrometer works of course just like any other one with a threaded rod that is held in place by this little bracket and of course also these little brackets. And so that's what I would like to make today. I have here a very nice little piece of material and this part will come here and the other part Cut in two comes in these two holes. Let's go for it. To start with I will square up my little stock here at 9mm squared, so 9mm both sides. And because it is a small part I of course also installed the small vise. I hope uh, makes sense, right? My little block is squared up and now I have to drill three holes in here. Two on the top side and one in the side side. Top side, side side. But before I do this, let me show you something. In a lot of my previous videos you can hear chickens and especially the rooster. A very noisy animal. But last year, at the end of the year, all the chickens and the rooster weren't there anymore. They disappeared. These are not my, these uh, neighbor's chickens. Okay. So I was very, very happy. Finally, silence. And as you can see, now there's a new one. Listen, if you want, we can be friends, but behave yourself, right? He's got a lot to prove. This part has some kind of cut out, two right shoulders here, what do they say, 2 mm deep and 12 mm. Let's do!
to cut away all this material here, my little block, I'm gonna squeeze this thing directly on the table because the thickness that has to be left here it's upside down but even upside down it is two millimeter and holding two millimeter in the little vise I think that's a bit scary so on the table it will be So far so good. All that's left to do is make this radius here and of course cut off two length. Maybe you're wondering why I always keep saying that hand filing is primitive. Of course it isn't. Hand filing is an art form. With a hand file you can make wonderful things if you are used to it. The problem is that I hate hand filing and I call it primitive because this is a machining channel. I like more use machines and everything that's manual like hand filing and hand scraping and, and polishing I don't like and so for me Primitive, that's all. So far the rooster is behaving himself, so that's good. But the problem is next door neighbor. I don't know what he's doing. It's a whole afternoon he's pressure washing something. I don't know what, but I suppose it's something really dirty. Now, this little thingy here is in place and of course I have to cut off these balls but uh, I suppose you've got it. And it's time to make the other part out of this little thing. And these are two halves and between two is the shaft. And so if you tighten or loosen a little bit the shaft it takes out the play. And my plan is, if it works, to make it in one part and when finished cut it in two. I have, where is it, a very nice little one millimeter slitting saw that I never used. So uh, we'll see what happens. When I was working this surface and I wanted to measure the thickness I forgot that of course on the other side here there's a burr. So instead of measuring the part I measured the burr and now this thing is about one tenth of a millimeter undersized. It's a bit stupid but normally for 
what it needs to be used. It doesn't matter. According to the plan, this thing here is a taper, 45 degree angle, and the radius of the thing should be 4.63. Now I'm gonna adapt the shaft that goes through here on this part, so it's not really important. I will use my high precision scale good all that's left to do now is to cut this little thing in two but as always there is of course a problem if I put my little part here in the vise the slitting cell can go low enough because of the axle is gonna touch the vise that's not gonna work if I use this vise which of course isn't fixed on the table yet this could work but the slit in here between two and the jaws are now completely closed and this uh, groove between here is too big I managed to install the part and also a countermeasure of course to balance it I installed two little pieces of sheet metal on this side and the slot you see here is four millimeters deep and my part has to be cut off at 4.5 so I use my half a millimeter thing here height is set the lowest speed I have on this machine and uh, let's see what happens That's not good. Allow me to explain what happened. This is the arbor I used and the bolt in here is a left hand thread and because this thing is turning to the right of course this nut will not tighten but loosen not bolt whatever and this is as you can see already Combined, these are three different parts put together. Uh, I don't know why there's a left hand thread in, hit, in here, but for me, this thing doesn't work. I have another one with a metric 10 right hand thread in here, so this could be perfect with a little bit. Uh, well, you see it fits but on the other side is something missing I need to change the draw bar in my milling machine but I don't have this one so this one for the moment not good I have another one and this is also the last one the only one I have and this one is the right thread and the right taper but I'm gonna take it out it's also a right hand thread so that's good just one little problem this diameter is not right but I think I can use it if I make some kind of bushing
Let's see if it works. It worked. It's of course not this rod that will be installed here, but it gives you more or less an idea. And as I tighten the screws, of course I can adjust the drag that we'll have on this shaft that comes here. Now, as one famous YouTuber once said to me, making something is fun. But if it works, that's a bonus. And it worked. Next on the to-do list is to make a little bushing that comes here in the center hole. And it should be a press fit in here and a boring of 3 mm. And I have, I think, the thing right here. And because it is a small part I will use the small blade. While editing this video, I lost the footage of the make the bushing part here on the small blade. I don't know what happened, it's just... Uh, but here's the rest of the little part, so... I'm too old for this shit. This little bushing will hold a shaft with a warm gear that I have right here. As you can see it's really small. The gear itself will be 8 mm diameter and of course I need to reduce these shafts. But to cut the gear I must be able to make 25 divisions and of course also for the two dials, this one and this one, which I make in sheet metal, steel of course, sheet steel, yeah, and the big one needs 100 divisions and the small one 25. Now that's not the original plan, but that's how I'm gonna do it. And to do this I would like to use the dividing head, but to make 25 divisions I need a 20 or 40 hole plate, which of course I don't have. And then a miracle happened. Last week I had a visit from Stefan and his son Anton from Germany and they brought me two plates for the dividing head. So now I have a 40 hole plate that as you can see is already installed. So Stefan, thank you very very much. And because he was here with his 9 year old son, as you can see now I also have a brand new racetrack. So Anton, thank you very much for your magnificent drawing. So now that I have the material and the plates, I can make my little warm gear and of course also the two dials, but that will be if everything goes well in next week's video.